So whenever you talk about the weather, it's usually the numbers that really tell the story. And if you have a look at what's happened in Sydney and the rest of Australia over the last 90 days, over the most recent summer that we've just had, it's been a phenomenal amount of change going on. Sydney had its driest summer in 27 years. Adelaide had 12 days of 42 plus degree temperatures. Perth had its hottest summer on record and Melbourne had one of its hottest 24-hour periods it's ever experienced. Something is quite clearly is going on. Now the United Nations and many of the world groups have formed panels of scientists. There's one that has 2,500 scientists on board. That's the largest collection ever of scientists to study one issue and that issue is climate change. And they came to the view on the preponderance of the evidence that something is happening. Over the last 50 years, man is having an impact on the environment and particularly on the climate. Now we've already seen forecasts over the last couple of days, both from Weather Zone and other and the Bureau, telling us that we're in for a much more intense pattern of storms hitting both Sydney and the east coast of Australia. There may be fewer waves, which is bad for surfers, but overall more erosion and greater climbing of temperatures. Now the world has warmed, we know that. And yet in this culture, suddenly if you believe the evidence and it's overwhelming scientific evidence, if you believe this evidence in Australia at the moment, you're branded a left-wing loony who spends most of their time on an internet site looking for a member of the Greens party to go out on a date with. That's how bad things have gotten in, in this country at the moment between the right and the left. Well, this is not about the right and the left and people who go around denying or supporting climate change. This is about cold, hard facts. And the facts are that our temperatures are warming, that we are facing an unprecedented change in climate around the world and in this country. And that's the only thing that we need to worry about right now is what do we do about it?